Hi folks, welcome to Around the Town Revisited. And yes, it is exactly how it sounds. We have actually opened up the library and we've, uh, we're gonna revisit some of my old shows. And some of these shows are my favorites and some of these shows are also shows that you viewers have said were your favorites. So today, guess where we're going? We're going in the skies over Connellsville. Yes, we are going to go flying again. Uh, and I wanna tell you just quickly how that show came to be. It was when I was doing a story for the newspaper on a Boy Scout project that was at the airport. And Mark Skorik was one of the people that was presenting the, the program. And as I was sitting there listening to him, I thought, oh, what a great idea for a show. Never in a million years even thinking that not only would he agree to it, but it was like, yeah, hey, I have my own plane, let's do it. So let's do it. Let's revisit the skies over Connellsville again. Well, isn't this exciting? Uh, we are really going to possibly be going up in this airplane. We are that. going up in this airplane. <laughs> Mark, welcome to the show. Mark is Thank actually you. a certified flight instructor here yes. at the Connellsville Airport. And you're from Uniontown, though, correct? I am from Uniontown. And before we get started on talking about how other people can get interested in flying, how did you get interested in flying? Well, my dad was a flight instructor in World War II, but wow. the first flight that I remember, I was six years old, down at the old hangar down there, and they, they took me up for my birthday. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, that's super cool. Yeah. And then, yeah. so from six, from six then the, the bug kind of bit you? Oh, it bit me bad. <laughs> I was putting sticks together and making airplanes and painting them red. Oh, and, oh uh, the Red Baron? The Red Baron, yeah. <laughs> it was only a, a monoplane, but... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, airplanes have always in, been in my thought process. Oh, they're wonderful. When, when I was 18, I went out and took my first lesson. Now, that's something that I think is really interesting and actually how I even got to, to have the idea for the show in the first place. I met Mark a couple months ago whenever he was taking part in a um, Boy Scouts aviation badge. Aviation day here at the airport. And it was a program they were doing mm -hmm. and I was sitting in and the thing that automatically really caught my attention was whenever he said that there's no age restriction for Absolutely learning how none. to fly. So tell us about, I think that's excellent. Well, anyone can start to learn how to fly at any age. It's, it's, uh, it's difficult for little ones because they can't see out of the cockpit. <laughs> but, uh, well, I, I know that. <laughs> no, my, <laughs> my, my son one day said, Dad, is this instrument flying? I said, no, it's a perfectly beautiful day. And he said, but I can't see anything. Uh. So um, <laughs> it happens. And, uh, but a, a, a child can learn to fly, an adult can learn to fly. Uh, there's a lot of aviators out there that don't think they can fly anymore and they're welcome to come back. We, we can certainly get them started again. But you have to be um, 17 years old to get your certification. Okay, okay, but you can fly previous to that. You can that. fly, but you okay. just need a flight instructor. You can okay. solo at 16. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, now, now we, again, had talked about, um, you know, actually building up to get your certification. And you do, do you do it like an hour at a time? Is that, is that the, the norm? That's normally or, or what the, is it? the attention span, sometimes even less. Uh, and as time builds more, uh, it may go to an hour and a half to two. It depends on what the student can tolerate because the, the stress level can be high when they're learning and flying the airplane at the same time. <laughs> yeah, which you don't will talk find about, out Don't shortly. talk about that stress level thing. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, again, Mark and I had said that something like an hour a week, that's like... Would be an like... hour a week would be the minimum. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you really want to stay as current as possible because you forget what you learned a week, week ago. Right, right. Yeah. Now, and there isn't any like, well, you do have to take a physical before you be you, a solo. You, need, you have to take a physical okay. before, you're, before you're solo. It's called a medical, yeah. Okay. And there's certified doctors that do that. They're called AMEs. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, but prior to, 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 to picking up the phone and calling you to, to, to learn how to fly, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to no. like study anything or no. learn anything. No. Or... no, no, no. I see that. I think that's what a lot of people, they're under the impression that there is like all this like mega, no. you know, studying and, and education that has to go. Sometimes the most exciting flight is that, uh, that, that beginning flight, that first flight when you came out and said, I want to try this. Now, do you have a lot of people that come and, and, and do take lessons from you? Or I, I think I have a fair amount of people that, that are working with me. Um, I, I'm enjoying every minute of it. And you are accepting new people? Always, always <laughs> accepting. Well, we'll give your contact information then at the end it's of the fine. show. Thank but you. you are a part of the Connellsville Flying Club. Connellsville Flying Club. Now, what Club. is that? Well, it's, it's, it's somewhat expensive sometimes to own an airplane and maintain it. So there were a, uh, four of us that got together one day, and we had been renting this airplane at Ross Draver. And we said, why don't we buy the airplane? So by putting a club together, we have... Uh, 
really reduce the cost okay. of owning the airplane. So, so the we, club the club owns the airplane. The club okay, owns I the get airplane, it. but honestly, it's like owning your own airplane. We have access to it whenever it's on the schedule. Cool. Yeah. And now this this puppy here behind us. What what kind of this <laughs> is a 1978 kind of a Cessna 172 N, the most highly manufactured airplane in the United really? States. Really? Yeah. Okay. There's about 37,000 of these out there. Really? Yeah. And, and, and it's a great trainer. And, and what is like the maximum distance? We're, if you and I wanted to I've say like we're going to go on a date. Trip. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we can go to Miami today? Well, <laughs> it would take us about 10 and a half hours. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have to be somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Well, we could make it to Savannah in about seven. <laughs> oh, I love there Savannah. We okay, there, there we go. go. That works. But, okay, so then uh, basically then this is used, uh, I would think, more for shorter shorter jaunts. It's, it's a great trainer. But, but when you get into general aviation, um, Guys like me just want to get up and go fly, so we might go see a buddy, or we might go to the beach, or we might we might just go someplace. Normally within three to four hundred miles. I bet you, like in the in the in the fall, like well, this is early fall, but nothing. The leaves haven't changed yet. I bet you it's breathtaking. To... I've always told my wife I want to start at Maine and follow the leaves oh, down. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Yes, there yes, you go. That's yes. a little little trip you can yeah, plan there. Yeah. All right, we're going to step inside here and you're sure, going to Sure, we're going to step stuff. inside. All I'm right. going to show you a little bit about the airplane. And you're actually going to take off today and fly the airplane. <laughs> we'll see. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Okay, stay with us. We're heading inside. Thank you. This is the yoke, okay? Okay. We do not use this on the ground other than to turn out of the wind. It doesn't control anything on the ground. The pedals control everything on the ground. Oh. So, if we're flying and we want to go up... This controls the elevator. Okay. So when we pull back, it's going to raise our nose. We would never pull it back that far. Okay. When we push in, it's going to lower us. Okay. Okay. When we're in a turn in the air, we're going to turn the aileron a little bit like that, or we're going to turn it a little bit like that, and it's going to roll the airplane. Okay. And then we're... For your first lesson, we're not going to get too critical, but we would coordinate that with the rudders. Okay. Okay. All righty. And what about everything else? I just don't pay any attention to everything. Well, for right now, you're going to need to know that this is the airspeed. Okay. Okay, because we're going to take off, we're going to rotate it about 55 knots. So when that needle hits right about there, we're going to pull this back just about an inch. Okay. The nose is just going to slowly rise, but not the back wheels right away. Okay. And then as speed builds, the back wheels, the, the main gears are going to come off the ground and we're going to start flying. Our speed will increase to about 80 and we'll fly out at 80 knots. And then one, once we're in the air, how fast will we be going? Um, probably about 101. Oh, okay. That's 101 knots. That'd be about 112 miles an hour, 110 miles okay. an hour. Okay. And that's that's average. That's even, even like if you do like a long, long flight. That's what you would. Be that's doing. it. That's oh, okay. that's all it'll go. Okay. That's all it'll go. Now, smaller planes actually may fly as slow as sixty-five knots, like the Piper Cubs. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, might go faster than that in my car. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> but you don't have as much fun as we do. No, I'm sure I don't. Yeah. Okay. This is your attitude indicator. It will come up when we start the engine. It's My run attitude. by a vacuum. Yeah, it tells you whether you're this bad, way, bad this way, this no way. Bad. Yeah, it will tell you if you have a bad attitude. <laughs> and if you do, you'll adjust it quickly. <laughs> this is your altimeter. Okay. I'm not going to teach you how to read it right okay. now, but we're going to be okay. Okay, so this is the heading indicator again. This tells us how fast we're going up or down. This is feet per minute. 500, 600, 700, 800 feet per minute. You'll see this fluctuate on our flight between zero and seven. Okay. Okay, this tells us how fast the engine's going. It's a uh, RPM. Okay. Um, these gauges, for the time being, you don't have to worry about. They're connected to the radios, they're navigational instruments. So I can see that one has something to do with direction. With a, That's correct. Okay. That's correct. If we were coming in on an ILS <laughs> and we kept those needles just like that, it would perfectly bring us right down to the runway. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gas gauges, oil temperature. Well, it's pretty easy. <laughs> well, actually, it is easy to fly. Really? Yeah. It's learning how to work with all the new technology that can be challenging. But uh, flying the airplane is a mechanical operation, and you learn to function through it. It's real good. Okay. Okay? All right. Is this okay. my horn? This is going to be... <laughs> no, that's your radio when, when you want to talk on the radio. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And this we can talk your, to somebody? Uh, 
probably just make some announcements. Oh, okay, all right. Down here we have all our fuses and switches, lights. Over here we have our throttle. This is be the same as your gas pedal. Um, however, in an airplane, you set the power setting. You don't use a pedal like you would in a car. So right there would be full throttle. Right about there is where we're going to probably fly at cruise. This controls our fuel air mixture. A little bit different than a car, but we have to adjust this to fly. If this is all the way out, we're not getting any fuel to the engine. It'll starve. That's how we shut it off. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. These are some trim tabs. Trim tabs right here. What's we a trim can, tab? Well, we can, instead of fighting with these, these controls, we can adjust these one way or the other, and it'll take all the pressure off of this. Oh. So it's, it's just a, a small tab on the back of the elevator that is going to help us modify the pressures. Okay. Okay. These are all radio instruments. Again, I don't want to get in them okay. to them today, but I'll help you with them if we need to make any calls. Okay. Okay. Well, I hope that's not the case. I, hope you're I don't think anybody. you're going to have any problem at all. I think <laughs> we're going to have a great time. Okay. <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready. You sure you're I'm ready? I'm sure I'm ready. This is I'm your ready. first flight this in a small airplane. Yes, it is. Are, are you a little bit stressed? You know what? Not as much as I thought I was going to be. No, Good. I, 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 I actually I flew commercially last week, and it was the first time in 26 years, and I, 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 yeah. here I am. Well, hopefully I can help take the stress <laughs> off of this okay. for you. Okay, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be At fun. any point in time, I'm here to, okay. to take, take you over. you have tissues when I cry? I have, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> right. Do you really? Oh, my gosh. Okay. And we have we air got... sickness bags, oh, too, Marilyn. <laughs> He's set. He's ready. Oh, let me tell me we don't have a parachute. I don't have a parachute. We're not allowed to have a parachute. Oh my gosh. We're, we're not doing aerobatics. Oh, well, just fly me over the yacht and plop me right down. Well, <laughs> it's great going out, but that impact. That oh, jeez. Oh, the water's well, hard. Folks, I hope I'm here to finish up the show. I'm you will be. It. You will be. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this. Thanks a lot. I'm going to get in and okay. we're ready to go. All right. We're going to do this. <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. Okay, I do want to point out, I don't know if you realize or not, it was not trick photography. I actually flew that plane. Uh, I did the takeoff and it was great. Uh, Mark had explained everything. I was actually the one holding the wheel or the flying mechanism and uh, it was pretty fun. We uh, got up, uh, we were so far, so far up in the air and uh, he looked at me and said, uh, you can breathe. And that's the truth. I had not taken a breath probably for a good minute because I was holding it because I am not a flyer. There you go. Good yeah. job. Very good. That's so weird. It is with your face. It is, isn't it? Okay, First thing, yellow up. line. How do I do that? Just on that yellow line. Get that mic next to you. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay, little bit of left foot. Left foot, a lot more left foot. There you go. Good job. Little right, little right foot. I'm hitting with the right. There you go. Okay, we're going to stop right up here and do what they call a run up. And it's back on our checklist. Check our ailerons and our elevators in the back and our runners, and it looks like we're good there. What's next? Okay, uh, instruments. Instruments. Our airspeed is at zero. Our attitude indicator is at level and centered. Our um, altimeter is set. The, the bows, the uh, barometric pressure is set. We're wings level, ball center. It looks like our altimeter is right, or I mean, our heading indicator is right. Ready for speed in case, right? We'll be there. Okay, fuel quantity? Fuel quantity, we have three quarter tanks. Okay, we're good. Mixture? Rich. Mixture is rich. Okay, uh, fuel selector valve? Fuel selector valve is on both. Uh, elevator trim? Elevator trim is on neutral. Okay, throttle? Throttle is right here. I've got it. Magnetos? Magnetos, we're going to do a magneto 
checks that we got to take this up to 1700 Ourselves. Okay. We're going to check that we're right on the money on two, three. Okay, now we're going to re rehearse this again. Yes. Your hand's going to go Can right here. Can I put my here. hands here? Okay. Yeah, and you're going to push the power on. Okay. And we're going to go like the right. 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 right now. Release the brakes. You need to have this hand right here. Okay. Okay, you don't need a death grip. You just have it on. And I want you to try to keep the the airplane on that white line while we're on the ground. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Are you ready? Yeah. Have you said your prayers? Oh, jeez. I didn't sleep last night. I'm gonna be talking you ready about to prayers. Go? Okay. Okay. Wait. No. Wait. Now we get so far, then I pull back. You're just gonna pull back like that. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. And I'm gonna have my hand right here just in case you forget. Okay. 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 Ready? Almost done. Well, fun fact, 
Actually, originally, uh, all three of us, uh, Seth Prentice, the producer, myself, and Mark, were supposed to go on the plane. But because the plane was little and there was a little bit of question about weight restrictions with three people, we decided to do it one-on-one. -on -one. In other words, I went with Mark, and then Seth got to go up afterwards. Unfortunately, when Seth went up, it was a little bit cloudier than when I had gone up, so apparently they hit a little bit of turbulence, but it still, I think, made for a really good show. Well, folks, as you can see, we're back on solid you made ground. It. I did, you I did, I did, I did. You know what? And it was actually really fun. A little bit hairy at the oh, beginning. Oh, it wasn't hairy. Oh, 
but you know what? It's 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 a lot of fun. It's such a different perspective sitting up there, yes, it is. seeing the the world through through that vision. It's feels really cool. So pleasant. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Ple thank you. Thank you. Oh, it was it's fun. It's been a real pleasure. It was fun. We hope you folks uh, enjoyed it. I hope that this definitely gave some of you the idea that, kind of like with a lot of our other shows, if I can do it, you guys can do it. <laughs> and Mark here is wonderful. He's very patient, very complimentary, and um, I really think that if somebody's thinking about giving it a shot, give this gentleman here a call. Thank you. Thank and you I'm sure much. you'd like to take people out I'd over the. Be glad to. Uh, over the skies. What I want to say in the skies. The skies over. of Fayette County. Yes, there huh? you go. Yeah. And, and you know what? It looks absolutely beautiful from up above, and it was really cool. Thank you. It was a wonderful experience. Thank you. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the show again. And for those of you who have never seen it before, I hope it was one that you enjoyed. As I've said, honestly, this is one of my favorite shows. I have had viewers stop me many times and say, you know, over the years, what are the favorite shows you've done? And this is one of my top three. It was a great experience. And especially for somebody like me that doesn't like to fly, it was pretty cool. And yes, for you skeptics out there, I actually did fly the plane. And what a wonderful experience. A really cool way to get to see Connorsville, get to see the Yawk River, and get to see our great area from the air. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed the show. And remember, keep smiling, keep dreaming, and keep watching. Bon Jovi or Barry Manilow? Is that a real charity or a fake charity? Pokemon character or prescription drug? Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show, and we are looking for contestants for future episodes. If you'd like to play trivia here on the Armstrong Neighborhood channel, head over to StuffIneverKnew.com, click Be a Player, fill out the short form, and we'll get you on a future episode. Hope to see you in the hot seat. Thank you for being an Armstrong customer. As your internet, TV, and telephone provider, we continually invest in our state-of-the-art fiber optic network across six states to meet current needs and stay ahead of future demands. Our employees are your family, friends, and neighbors. Their dedication to customer service sets us apart as an industry leader. We believe it's our responsibility to be good community partners through sponsorships and outreach programs like Breaking Bread. Why Armstrong? Unmatched employees. Unmatched customer care. Unmatched fiber network. My name is Jamie Schultz. I'm Director of Engineering for the Ziegenfelder Company. We're located in Wheeling, West Virginia. We are the largest manufacturer of Twin Pops in the world. We had an ice storm that impacted our network connectivity. Armstrong Business Solutions was able to deploy a wireless internet backup in order for us to communicate with our other facilities. So we make millions of Twin Pops across the country. It would be a nightmare trying to keep track of everything. Armstrong Business Solutions helps keep our business up and running. Did you know that you could get fast, reliable Zoom internet for as little as $4.95 per month with ACP? Armstrong is participating in the FCC's Affordable Connectivity Program, which helps eligible households receive a credit of up to $30 per month on their internet bill. This program will also increase and improve broadband infrastructure throughout the U.S., especially in rural areas. There's no need to call. Visit armstrongonewire.com ACP or scan the QR code on your screen for more information and to apply.